Listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Promise me you won't let Rahim near that high. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. Jade and I went looking for Antizen and found explosives instead. Now we need to get the hell out of here before Tahir comes back. Let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll get the move to Saeed and you to Brian. Make sure he stays away from that high. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the volatile hive and how she wants him to stay the hell away from it. Crane, Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would have been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go, and now it's possible, but... But if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But... It's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Rahim, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sickbay visiting Dr. Lena. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. 
Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infected I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. <laughs> Zara asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they'd been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. There's a lot to be done around the tower. Hope you find some time to take a look at the board. I wonder what happened. People are counting on you to help them out. Please. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh, bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. What's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station helping Morgan prep the barge. The scouts have seen people entering the school. Something's going on there. What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Hmm. Okay. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat, uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Great, you there? Hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station helping more. Is this Crane? Can you hear me on this thing? Yeah, who is this? This is Tolga. And Fatim. We work for Mr. Dahl, and we are ready to put you to task. Get here on the double. Make it quick. Hey, that's rude. Tolga, don't, don't talk to him like that. Shut up, Fatim. Get off the radio. It's going to make him mad, you idiot. Stop talking, or I will punch you. Punch me? I'll kill you. 
Idiosyncratic, great. Are you Tolga and Fatine? Yes. How did you surmise that? Who cares how his ape brain processes information? We have a job for him. Quite right, Tolga. Remember, simple words only. Don't confuse him. We need to move some equipment across town. It's very heavy. How heavy? <laughs> Too heavy for you, Simeon Beast. Instead, we will propel it across the sky using heavy gauge zip lines. A brilliant idea, don't you think? That was my idea. No, it wasn't. Just tell me what you need. Well, hooks, obviously. How else can we hang the equipment off the lines? You will find them at the train yard warehouses. Does he know what a warehouse is? Probably not. Look it up, but be quick about it. This project is far more important than anything your proto-human cranial cogitator is capable of understanding. And don't try to figure out what it is. Oh, heavens no! <laughs> You'd give yourself an aneurysm. So much for helping me. Thank you. 
I have your hooks. <laughs> Incredible! We have underestimated him. Well, we can hardly be blamed for that. Look at him. Are we done? You're done. We have work to do. And when we're finished, we'll leave some zip lines up for you. Yes, we know how you primates like to swing from the vines. Hey, you been looking for a runner? Well, we're looking for one who will say yes instead of no. Jafar can fill you in. Hey, you want to try calming down long enough to tell me what's wrong? Yeah, sure. Let's try that. Calming down will work. Yeah, calming down will solve everything. Oh. No, walking away from you will solve everything. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm chill. I'm chill, bro. So, I make these flares for a rise, right? Wait, flares? Like, like signal flares? No, no, UV flares. Like flares that the night things can't stand because they put out this UV, which stands for ultraviolet, which is like kind of a science thing. I got it, UV flares, continue. There is no continue. My zinc is contaminated with fluorine, it's useless. Also, I'm out of turpentine, which isn't that hard to find, except Everything's hard to find right now. So when Rice's people come for their merchandise... Oh, is he using people now? I thought he only used hired psychopathic gorillas. What do you need to make these things? Just zinc and turpentine, bro. I got the rest. Worst part is everything I need is in the train yard warehouses. But a guy like me isn't going to last 10 seconds out there. Well, I'm surprised a guy like you's lasted that long in here. Oh, the, oh, that's very funny. Ha ha. Very funny, funny man. Look, maybe I'll get your supplies, but if I do, whatever you can make out of them, I take half. Half? No way. You're freaking nuts, bro. Look, you can give me half of something, or you can keep 100% of nothing. Half it is. That seems fair. It's you again? I mean, uh, what are you doing here? Relax, relax. I don't work for Rice. That was a one-time job, and it was all about protecting the tower. Look, I'm sorry. I mean it. Is that right? Look, everything I was doing, I was doing for Brecken. You can ask anyone in the tower if you don't believe me. So what do you got, Jafar? We've been picking up some of Rice's transmissions. One of his crews found something at the construction site, and they got very excited. They didn't say what it was, but they referred to bringing down the entire tower in one shot. Someone's got to find out what it is, and either confiscate it or destroy it. Well, I'm someone. Congratulations. The job is yours. We'll be in touch. Attention! Attention! Since you cannot hear dog whistles, we are forced to communicate with you directly. You are ordered to come immediately. This is Crane. Is that you, Tolga? Uh, he wants to talk to us. Well, I don't want to talk to him. I repeat, you are ordered to come immediately. That is all. Shut off the radio! Right! Ozzy, is anybody in here?
If mama ain't happy, nobody happy. So you better make mama happy. Yazi. Me too. We have the same name. Are you from the video store? No, my name's Crane. Crane? Crane rhymes with train and brain and sane and grain and rain and plane and the other kind of plane and and. But can I come in? No, no, it's impossible, impossible. This is my special day with mom. It's Mother's Day, and it's the most important day of the whole world. Are you from the video store? Why do you keep asking me that? Uh, because you're supposed to bring my movie about me. It's called Charlie. And it's all about me, and how smart I am. Look, Gazi, if I bring you your movie, will you let me come in? Sure. Then you could watch with us. It is Mother's Day, and if Mama ain't happy, nobody happy. Oh, and, and she also wants chocolate. Mama wants chocolate. No, 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 wait a minute, that's too much. Don't argue with Gazi. It doesn't work. That, that's what the drugstore people say. It's not now. Charlie, Charlie, see you for Charlie. Gotcha. Still all right. So we'd knock on doors. Sometimes you'd hear a voice that sounded like a person. So you'd go in. Only it turned out it was a viral. All angry and crazy. Just enough voice left to fool you. Sometimes they weren't alone. The suits are pretty tough. They're PVC with reinforced double layered poly fiber cord. We thought we were safe. It turned out the biters could shoot right through it. Sometimes I see some of my old squad shambling around. Gets me down to see them like that. You know the funny thing? They're all biters now, but they can't bite. Because they don't have the brains to take off their masks. I'll tell you, this whole thing is pretty damn strange. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes? Here's your movie and your chocolates. Wait till Mom see this. Fogazi wins again. Hooray for Gazi! Right. Hey, then I'll just let myself in through the roof. Hello, Gazi. Shh. The movie is on. Mama's watching. Is Mama happy? Yeah, Mama's real happy. Gazi got her chocolates and a movie. Well, then I'm gonna take some medicine to help my friend. Well, okay. Oh, Mama stopped getting seizures when her head turned into a pumpkin. They're on the table. Yeah, thanks, Gazi. Gazi make everybody happy. Seems there's some survivors at the bazaar, and the witch is one of them. Guess if anyone's gonna bullshit their way to safety, it's gonna be Dahlia, right? <laughs> Did you say she's a witch? She says she's a witch. She claims the infected won't even touch her, because of her voodoo hocus-pocus. They say she walked clean across the city without getting touched, at night. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's just completely full of shit. I saw some people in this school. Got to wonder what they were doing there. All right, I've got your anti-seizure medicine. Thanks. Oh, how'd things go with Gazi? Well, he may be challenged, but he's very good at getting what he wants. Did you meet his mom? Yeah, she seemed happy. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Speaking of which, Brecken asked me to pass this on to you, with his thanks. People are counting on you. Rahim's electronic parts. <laughs> Don't expect the radios to work any better. The truth is, Rahim is trying to build a robot runner. He gets these crazy ideas in his head. I just want to talk. Try listening. The first bullet goes over your head. The next one goes through it. Stop it, Edward. You don't want to scare off someone who might be willing to help us. We don't know this arsehole from a plate of falafel. Don't argue with me. Let him in. Seems Errol wants to talk to you. There won't be any trouble. Do I look worried? Scared to death. He's perceptive. Come in. Come in. Kyle Crane. This is my niece, Salier, and her son, Aaron. Do forgive Edward, but he's completely right to be worried. We're being pursued by some very ruthless men. There's something oddly familiar about you. 
There should be. The campaign spent a lot of money putting my face all over town. Of course, you're Errol Asani, governor of the province. Governor of nothing, but Rise has decided that any political figure is a threat to him. So he's ordered my execution. They nearly killed me once already. That's how I lost my leg. And it seems they haven't given up. A squad of his thugs has tracked me to my last safe house in the slabs. Edward was just there. He says they're searching the area. It's only a matter of time before they show up here. Uh, sounds like you got quite a problem. I would pay you very well to resolve it. Hey, you know, people say that a lot to me. Trust me. What I can offer you can't be found anywhere else, at any price. And I'll think about it. Hey boys, what are we into this time? Do you understand what a battery is? Tall guy, you're overwhelming him! <sighs> Inside the engine compartment of a bus is a heavy rectangle. I know what a battery is. Okay, we need bus batteries with marine grade plates and rated at 1300 CCA or better. CCA means cold cranking amps. Obviously. That's a pretty big battery. Yes, easily 50 to 55 kilograms each. That's equal to uh, several large rocks. He's American. The metric system makes him angry. We will need three of them. Oh, you can use your brute strength. We know you primitives are keen to show how strong you are to demonstrate physical prowess. You think it will attract females? Ugly and stupid. What else does he have? Oh, how does he live like that? Who knows? You have your instructions. Go do your, uh, interpretation of them. Here are your batteries. Better check them for bite marks. <laughs> well done. Well, no problems with the counting part of the mission? How much more do you need to do on this project of yours? None of your business. Goodbye.
Reem on the radio. Yeah! <laughs> 